And here's how it looks with both amber. Going on YouTube. So as you can see, there's a lot of white shit on my truck. That's due to the tent. I gotta go get a brand new one. It's pretty windy out here in Florida. Now since the weather is changing, but yeah, that's coming in next week. And as well as some last fit LEDs on uh, switchbacks, the ones with um the no error, and as well as the corner light for right here. And that's because I'm gonna be doing the DRL mod. And the DRL mod, let me show you really quick. So the DRL light right here, it's only on during the day and at night there's no use for it. So, you know, I don't really like it. No, I think it's stupid, but with the switchbacks, I'm gonna connect these two together. So they're always white. When I turn my turn signal, they're always um, gonna turn amber. And as well as this. Well, probably not, it's gonna be white because I ordered a white one. And um, yeah, man, it's pretty much easy to do. Um, this works on probably any car or any Tahoe. Uh, so all you got to do is get two of these. They sell them at AutoZone. You know, get the ones with three wires. And um, here's a test fit right here on my new headlights. You know, make sure it fits. And this well some T-taps. Because what you're going to do is you're going to run these wires right here and just tap into it. And this, you're just gonna cut them off and cap them off. You don't really need this DRL. As you can see mine's burnt already. I'm an issue with these GM um, DRL sockets. They always get burnt, but yeah, man. The only reason I'm taking everything out right now is because you can see from at an angle, you can see these red wires and I'm just trying to clean up everything, you know, make it look clean, but yeah. So I'll see you guys whenever the last fit LEDs come in. And yeah, man, stay tuned. I just got out of work at the gas station right now. And um, I'm tracking my LEDs for the DRL mod and they're, they should be there once I get home. I'm working in St. Pete right now. Um, probably like an hour away from where I live. So I just got done getting my package. And I just got here. So good timing. And um, now, we're gonna start opening it up and start putting in, well, connecting the two sockets together. And I'll show you how to do that. And yeah, man, let's get her open. So we got her opened up. And here's one LED, well, both of them right there. And here we got two um, corner lights that are gonna be going right here. Um, I'm gonna be putting the white ones to see how it looks. If not, I'm gonna just keep the orange ones with the amber ones right there let's see what else we got right here and here we got the other set so four in total one two and three and four what you're gonna need is these sockets right here they're from AutoZone as I said in the um, beginning of the video make sure it has three one five seven bulb right there that socket you're gonna need two with the three wires right there and six six um, T-taps. These have seven, you can get them at AutoZone. And you're switching to remove all these headlights. All you gotta do is your DRL lights, you gotta clip these two wires off, the blue and the black one, and just cap them off. I just cap the other wire off and um, I hit it somewhere and what you're gonna do here, you're gonna use your T-taps to connect the blue wires together. That brown wire that you see right here with the middle one and the black one, which is your ground with this um, black wire right there. Here we have it, got my T-taps, brown wire with the brown wire, blue wire with the blue wire and black wire with the black wire. I twisted it up, put some electrical tape so it can look um, cleaner, you know? And now I'm just going to test it. I'm going to go get the white LED from the other side and put it here and start turning my signals and bumper lights on and everything. So as you can see, it works. And these are the white LEDs on right now. Right there. There's the corner light. There's the turn signal right there. 
you can see they're both flashing and it's gonna it's flashing too fast because they don't have a resistor yet um which those bulbs that i have right there um they don't need resistor thing i did on this side is the same on the other side so two days ago i went to go get some parts from an escalade with a tahoe and um i have these pillars right here which i need to go get um color matched and these are the ones that go right here right there but yeah um i just got these parts from the escalade and uh, i'm not sure if i should get the third brake light as well as the windshield or the rear windshield but i just got this tinted so i'm probably gonna have to go get the escalade window tinted and as well as the bumper i want to change might get a roll pan or might put a Silverado or an Escalade bumper here. But I'm not too sure. I have to do my research. Looking for a hood for the Tahoe, which is the HD hoods. I'm not going to do the HD front because I like how it looks in the front. But yeah, man. So y'all stay tuned for nighttime. And I'm going to be showing you guys the DRL mode at night. Pretty much nighttime outside. And I'm going to show you guys um, the different modes. Bumper lights only. Bumper lights with the DRLs and fog lights. These are my headlights, DRLs, bumper lights, and fog lights. All the lights turned on. Shit's bright as hell. There, I put the contrast down. That's how it would look like me at a red light or a stop sign. Put that orange. And I did put resistors on the tail lights since I did have LEDs. And these headlights. Well, bulbs didn't need resistors because they already came inside. Here's how it looks with both ambers on, with the amber lights on. See that orange? That's the DRL mod. Hopefully, you like this video. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Peace.